Hi everyone! So today is the last day before Epiphany and the second and last Sunday in Christmas, so I thought that I would share a hymn that has to be sung in any German Christmas service, otherwise the service wouldn't be complete. And it's called O du Fröhliche. Uh, the translation would be O oh, you happy Christmas time. So the text for that hymn was written by two different people actually. Verse 1 was written by Johannes Daniel Falk and verses 2 and 3 were written by Heinrich Holzschuhe. Falk, who was the writer of the first verse, was born in 1768 in Danzig, which is the central northern coast of Poland, and he died in 1826 in Weimar, which is about an hour and 20 minutes from Leipzig. He was the son of a poor wig maker, but was supported by the city of Danzig to study both in high school and in college. In college he initially studied theology, but soon turned to writing, especially writing satire. He wasn't necessarily all that successful at that, but he did catch the attention of some major German poets and they included him in his circle. So eventually he actually helped mediate during a battle at Jena in 1806, which earned him a kind of a nobility title. And even after that, he founded an association to take care of destitute and poor children after losing four of his own children in uh, the war in 1813. Holzschuhe, on the other hand, um, the writer of verses 2 and 3 of our hymn for today, was born in 1798 in Wunsiedel, which is about an hour and a half northeast of Nuremberg, and he died in 1827, 1847 excuse me, in Hof, which is about 35 minutes north of his birthplace. His father died by suicide when he was 13, and his mother returned to Bohemia, which was her own home region, apparently without him. So that just kind of woke his compassion for poor and abandoned youth. And eventually he became a social worker and actually took Falk, the person who wrote the first verse to our hymn um, for today, as a role model. He started classes for incarcerated youth um, in the place where he worked, and later he moved to Erfurt, Munich, and the Rhineland for other, mostly financial work, but he did found social institutions in all three of those places. The melody for today's hymn was adapted from an, uh, a Sicilian melody from the 18th century, and it was adapted by Johann Gottfried Herder. He was born in 1744 in Morungen, which is central northern Poland, about an hour and 10 minutes from Danzig, and he died in 1803, also in Weimar, like Falk, um, Falk did. Just like the other two, he also grew up poor and educated himself with the family Bible and his father's hymnal. He did, in college though, he did study under Immanuel Kant um, and a number of other well-known um, philosophers and thinkers and became an influential thinker himself. He, um, you could say that he founded a different German school of thought. He even influenced Goethe, who became a very well-known poet later. He eventually became a pastor and moved to Riga in Italy to teach, but um, after that he returned to Germany to take the position as court preacher or pastor um, for a north-central German count. Toward the end of his life he moved to Weimar to work there, um, which was a position that he got thanks to Goethe. Um, but in the end, he did kind of endorse the, the French Revolution, which was a very unpopular opinion at the time, and also broke up his friendship with Goethe and a bunch of other German thinkers. So there's a lot more that I could say about him, especially his kind of his thinking and his philosophy, but that would too, it'd take too long for a video of this size. So I encourage you to research him. He's absolutely fascinating. Um, the hymn itself, as I mentioned briefly before, has three different verses, and they're very short, so I think I'll translate and sing all of them. So this is the translation for the verses. Oh, you happy, oh, you blissful Christmas time, bringing mercy. The world was lost, Christ is born. Rejoice, rejoice, O Christendom. Oh, you happy, oh, you blissful Christmas time, bringing mercy. Christ appeared to save us. Rejoice, rejoice, O Christendom. O oh, you happy, O oh, you blissful Christmas time, bringing mercy, heavenly choirs are singing to your glory. Rejoice, rejoice, O Christendom. And now for the fun fact for today, um, just kind of thinking about what's been going on in the news recently, um, Iran actually has a fascinating history. 
Especially pictures from about the 1970s are absolutely stunning. There's incredible architecture and gardens, but the history and the recent history too are just incredible. Iran, which was formerly known as Persia, is a country that's smack dab in the middle of Africa, Europe, and Eastern Asia. And the kind of political and religious history very much reflects that central existence. Um, the Encyclopedia Britannica has a really great exploration of the history and current society and agriculture and geography and art and all of that of Iran. Um, so I would encourage you to ch check that out, especially given that Iran has at least five UNESCO World Heritage Sites that would be very much threatened in the case of a war. Um, another book that I believe also talks about Iranian history is called The Architect's Apprentice, which mostly talks about the Ottoman Empire, but Persia or Iran was part of the Ottoman Empire for quite some time, and I believe the book talks about that. So um, I will put the links for both of those in the comments and you can check those out. So with all of that said, here's the hymn. O oh, du fröhliche, o oh, du selige, Gnadenbringende Weihnachtszeit, Welt ging verloren, Christ ist geboren, Freue, freue dich, o oh Christenheit. O du fröhliche, o du selige, gnadenbringende Weihnachtszeit. Christ ist erschienen, uns zu versöhnen. Freue, freue dich, o Christenheit. O du fröhliche, o du selige, gnadenbringende Weihnachtszeit, himmlische Heere, jauchzen dir Ehre, freue, freue dich, o Christenheit. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you tomorrow for the last time.